Folks, mortgage rates it's at seven and a half percent. You would think that would dampen mortgage applications, but in, uh, we are in the spring buying season. And yes, folks, mortgage ads up, up 5% week on week. What are buyers doing? Are they going on tilt? Are they doing silly things? Let's have a conversation with Matt, the mortgage guy, and see what's what. Matt, mortgage apps up, rate 7.5%. Break it down for me. How can that be possible? Well, I think what happens is things move you know, slower than people think in, in real estate. And dramatic headlines are exactly that. They're dramatic headlines. Because albeit mortgage rates impact demand, they impact real estate, Mortgage rates going from seven to seven and three eighths. What really happens, like from from my view, is I was going to get a six point nine nine percent rate, and it was going to cost me eleven hundred dollars. Now it cost me thirty eight hundred. But besides that, nothing changed. I'm still going six nine nine. The payment I looked at last week is still the same as it is this week. And so, you know, mortgage rates have like they don't swing this much this fast. They've gone up. You know, some would say dramatically, but I, I don't. I would, I would, and I have. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. they're up fifty basis points in roughly ten days. Right, and so, and so, you know, you either take a higher rate and a higher payment, or like most people do, you just pay a little bit more for up that front. same rate. Yeah. You know, and and the sweet spot for some might be seven one two four, might be six nine nine. But either way, I think I think what's happening right now, Mike, is that. Um, that downward pressure on demand that higher rates creates has equal or more upward pressure from seasonality. People are out to buy in the yeah. spring, and and that that little change in rates is not going to stop them. They're they're looking to buy. Yeah, I think that's really interesting because I've been saying for a while below seven good, above seven bad, and obviously as of yesterday we're at seven and a half. But this is why I love talking to you, a pro. Because what, what I hear you saying is people are still getting six nine nine. Right. They're just they're paying three grand instead of you know fifteen hundred, whatever it is. So that still makes logical sense to me. And another thing that, that makes sense to me is why why apps might be up is people remember that rates can go to eight. And maybe a six nine nine is not possible at eight. Um so maybe what's actually happening is you're just having buyers going, okay, I'm fed up. I had enough. I can get 699 with a number I'm comfortable with. We just got to go now. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's just buyers remembering that eight's possible, right? We were 8.03, I don't know, two and a half months ago. Yeah, back in November. And I think too, like me and you've talked about on this channel, it's funny watching, watching, you know, uh, you know, consumer behavior is interesting. Generally speaking, like you can have rates like this. And people are on the fence, not doing anything. They start to go up, and while you think that's going to curb demand, it's like, oh, I better jump in before it's too late because they're headed up. No, no, I agree. So, so if we play this out again, looking into the future, like I like to do, maybe, and we can't be can't be lost on this. Also, Easter was a couple of Sundays ago. Maybe there's some Easter holiday snafus in there. Um, but when I look at this, it gets interesting because. If we're right, that marginal demand comes off quickly, but maybe for a short duration. So if we play this out in rates, let's just say stay at seven and a half for a month. I would guess four weeks from now, it's less of a move than than now. Is that is that fair? Yeah. And I think too, like thinking out loud, my brain trying to take all of it into account. There's so many different factors that it's hard to even tell. Like how much did a half a percent like slow down demand and how much did, you know, it being April and May push up demand? It's hard to quantify what each one did collectively. Like we're still in a place where like buyers are going to be competing for the affordable housing for stuff around the median. I think for buyers, it's good news. And I've tried to, you know, preach this like this is great. Some of your competition with the seven and a half percent interest rate will just throw in the towel and say, maybe not now. And the funny part is, over the last couple of years, this new phenomenon of the buying cycle being longer, I, I've had it happen two or three times in the last week where I just look at an application today and this buyer said, hey, I'm, I'm ready to, to, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be really 
ramping up my home shopping. Original application, April of 23. And so sometimes it takes a little bit of time in the market, kind of absorb rates are higher. Here's what my new payment's going to be. And I see that happening more and more. So, you know, the, the, the buyers that are buying today didn't just raise their hand a week ago and say, I want to get pre-approved. I want to buy. They've been feeling yeah. this out and, and, you know, it takes some time. That le- that lends credence to kind of a thought that I've, I've had for a while is consumers get comfortable, right? When did seven and a half or eight feel bad when it was the first time we got there? Yeah. We've already been on this round trip. Seven and a half's not new. Seven and a half's not eight. Oh, by the way, you can get six nine nine with a couple of points or whatever it is. So I think you're right. I the reason they didn't move last time is because it was new, it was uncomfortable. But now it's like, ah, I've been here before. I found the one, I found the house. We're just gonna move forward. It seems like that's possible. Right. Yeah. And you know, it's uh it's an interesting time because for me as a broker who's all day, every day, talking to buyers, talking to agents, looking at things. Buyers are more picky mm-hmm. and more patient, which which are both good things. Yeah, it's a good thing, right? yeah. Um, and so, yes, I know I need to get pre-approved. Yeah, let's look at the numbers. Here's what I'm comfortable with. That process takes a little while, but then uh, to your point, like something comes along that's the right one, they move fast on it. Um, and, and in a lot of markets you have to, um, because, because the, 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 the nicest stuff is moving relatively quick and, and with little amount of inventory, another phenomenon that I'm seeing, I looked at the stats from the neighborhood that I've lived in my whole life, 43 years, only 10 homes traded in the first quarter. So what's normal, what's normal, um, I think like 2019 numbers are probably like double that, like 20 to 20. So you're half half of normal. Yeah. And so being a relatively affordable area, Mm -hmm. if someone's looking to move there, there's not a lot to choose from. And at any given time, like I had somebody Mm -hmm. who was thinking about listing and as a friend of mine, and he said, you know, when should I list? I said, now seems like a good time because there's nothing. There, there, was, there was zero single family homes in this 2,700 home uh, yeah. neighborhood. And mm-hmm. so, you know, that's, there's just, there's, there's so much interesting stuff going on. It's such a interesting market. Um, and, and I wouldn't necessarily call it difficult. Some people are like, oh, it's a tough market. It's just different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing that I, uh, I'm i hoping for, I'm seeing kind of early in the numbers is the market is slowing down. So what does that look like? Inventory built. But unfortunately, all inventory is not equal. I think what we're seeing in the data is above the median is growing. Below the median is still scarce. So when you hear people like Housing Wire or um, you know, Altos Research talk about inventory growing, it's not all equal. And I think it's really becoming misguided because I, 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 again, I look at the data. I love housing wire. I love Altus research, but we've got to get more granular because the market's so bifurcated today and b- below the median is just, it's still on fire. I'm hearing from agents about 10%, 15% waiving conditions, things that I don't like to hear uh, are happening. So yeah, some of that stuff will slow down too. And, and, and to your point, like we've seen it a- where rates up, market seems to kind of cool off and and, and take a breath, um, and then rates come down and, and a lot of people come charging back. I've seen it, so I know it's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen, Mike. There's enough demand where at or near the median, priced well, shows well, will sell relatively quick, whether that's Correct. 15 days in one market and 22 in another, relatively quick. And the stuff that's garbage and overpriced not as nice a neighborhood, or maybe even it's 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 nice, but it's luxury. That yep. stuff sits, yep. inventory builds, and then you know what happens when rates come down? Even the junk sells. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, the housing market's really interesting. We're gonna have we're just gonna take years to kind of get through, you know, this this environment we're in. So um if people are looking to get pre-approved, looking to do the homework to get in, 
Uh, you are the place where one rental at a time folks go frequently. How do they do that? Just go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out that form. We'll connect you with somebody who can help you no matter where you're at. Um, if you're in California or Florida, you're talking to me. If you're in Texas and Tennessee, you'll probably be talking to Connor. Um, I continue to get great feedback. So um, keep going to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. We'll connect you with somebody great. We we're uh, um, seeing a lot of, of, of pickup in applications and and demand and conversations this time of year. And, and I really enjoy it, right? There's, there's never too early of a time to talk about it, even yep. if you think you might be six months or a year out. Um, getting the information and educating yourself, it's never too early. So greatmortgagebroker.com. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you.